Your reels are getting views and reach, but those views aren't turning into new followers. This probably means your starting conversion rate is low. So let's talk about how you can fix that. What's up, it's Millie. Welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand. Starting off with this video's shout outs, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of your love and support. So if you wanna get a shout out in one of my future videos, screenshot yourself watching this video and tag me over on Instagram stories, or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I value your time and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. Here's the hard truth that not everyone wants to hear. Everyone wants more followers. So all they focus on is how can I get more reach? How can I get in front of more people? How can I create a post that's going to go viral so I can grow really fast? But most people simply aren't ready to grow. They want to skip all the fundamental steps to grow quickly, which actually hurts them in the long run because then they end up having to go back anyway after realizing, hmm, something's not working. And maybe that's why you're here. Before you even try to grow on Instagram, you need to know what your current conversion rate is. This conversion rate is going to tell us the percentage of people that are pressing the follow button after visiting your profile. Because if you aren't able to convert a new visitor into a follower right now, then reaching more accounts, not gonna help you. This is the formula that you're going to follow. Number of follows divided by number of profile visits times 100 because math percentages, that's how it works. This is the formula that you're gonna follow. Let's take a look at my account, for example. So in my insights section, I have 8,130 number of followers in the past 30 days divided by the number of profile visits, which right now it's at 50,000, and then times that by 100. After multiplying by 100, my current conversion rate is sitting at 16%. Right now, there is no industry standard or rule of thumb for what should my conversion rate be because simply nobody talks about this. So personally, for me, I try to always hit 10% or greater with my conversion rate. Okay, your turn. I'll wait for you to calculate your conversion rate. Drop it in the comments below because I'm curious. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I really do try my best to provide you consistent content like this to help you grow your brand. If your conversion rate is sitting at more than 10%, you're probably in a good place with your account and you're simply just making a few common reels mistakes. So what I recommend doing is to watch this video here where I go over the eight most common reels mistakes to see what you can do to improve the current videos you're making right after you finish this video. Now, if you have under 10% conversion rate, this is already one reason why your reels aren't helping you grow. You need to work on increasing that conversion rate. So how do you do it? There are five questions that you need to ask yourself so you can figure out what your next action step will be to increase that conversion rate. Before jumping into those action steps, I wanna take a moment to thank this video sponsor who I've been partnering with for about a year now and I just absolutely love them and it's Zyro. Zyro is a website builder that lets anyone create amazing websites, launch a domain and launch an online store all in one place with no coding skills or web design skills needed. Here's the thing. When I created my very first website years ago, I used another web host that I'm not gonna say names, but they claim to be affordable and easy to use and it was a nightmare. Once I started getting YouTube sponsorships on my channel, I told my manager that I would never recommend that company to my subscribers. So when I recommend Zyro, it doesn't come lightly. I truly appreciate how affordable and simple Zyro is because I know a lot of my audience and students are just starting their entrepreneur journey. So they likely are on a budget and need tools that can be quick to whip together, even if you're not the most tech savvy person in the world. Plus they have a 24 seven support team, so. If you're ready to create your own amazing website, use my limited time link below to build your new website for up to 72% off and four months free. Follow the link below to get started on your website or you could go to zyro.com and use the code Millie. Here are the five questions you need to ask yourself if your Reels views aren't converting into followers. Am I actually pushing out my content consistently? Now remember, consistent doesn't have to mean that you're posting every day, but it does mean that you have a schedule and you stick to that schedule. Are you being consistent right now? If you've posted 10 reels and you're thinking, well, well, this doesn't work, like you're not in it for the long haul. Reels create a snowball effect. The more reels you post, the more people will want to binge your content when they find you at video number 50. If you're not posting consistently, your first action is to create a posting schedule that you can stick to. I have this video here that teaches you how to create a schedule that will work for you. Next question, am I being topically consistent? When I say topically consistent, yes, I mean, have you niched down? This is so, so, so important and literally one of the biggest reasons I see people not convert their viewers into followers when a reel goes viral. And it's not just that your reels need to be topically consistent, but your entire page. 
if one reel blows up, that's in the fashion niche. It's safe to say that people who are interested in fashion are watching that video. And if they go to your page and the entirety of your bio, your photo, your content is not fashion related, they likely won't want to follow you. I'm not saying it's bad to post a variety of content, but if your goal is growth, you will grow quicker when you keep all of your content around one topic. Which brings me to the next question. Is it obvious let me show you that again in quotes. Is it obvious what I want to be known for? That's what you're asking yourself. If I were to go check out your profile right now, is it going to be clear to me what you do, what you wanna be known for, or even the value that you provide? You want to give your new follower a reason to follow you. What do they get in return for pressing that follow button? Will they be getting meditation tips for beginners? Will they get couples humor videos? Will they get adulting 101 tips? Like brand yourself and tell them why you. I say this in plenty of my videos, but we all naturally have that selfish instinct. So when somebody presses that follow button, they're not pressing follow because they're like, oh, I love you. I love you. No, no. They're pressing follow because they're like, wow, this is gonna benefit me. Wow, I like this stuff. Wow, I'm feeling inspired. They're pressing that follow button for selfish reasons because they have something to gain. So you need to be able to communicate what they have to gain by pressing your follow button. Hope you're catching my drift. Next question to ask yourself, would I follow someone whose profile looks like this? Yeah, this is a hard one because you have to answer as objectively as possible. You need to be able to take a step back, look at your page without judgment, and analyze what can I do to improve my current strategy? This isn't time to be hard on yourself and say, oh my gosh, I suck. Like, just be real with yourself, write some notes down, and give yourself a little Instagram audit. And of course, this next question is probably the most important one. Why do you even wanna grow in the first place? Why do you want to grow? There is no wrong answer here, and everyone's answer is going to be a little bit different, but understanding why you want to grow is so strong. When answering this question, it's important to not criticize yourself or the answer that comes to mind first. If the answer is because I wanna be famous or because I wanna make money, great, go with that and dive deeper into it. Ask yourself, why do you wanna be famous? Why do you wanna make more money? Keep asking why and why and why until you find the truest root answer. Maybe the reason why you wanna make more money is because you grew up watching your parents struggle without financial stability and that was hard for you growing up. And now you wanna create a strong foundation for your children. Or maybe your why is because you believe that there needs to be more representation and people of color in this influencer space or in your niche. Always circling back to your why will help you to create content that's true to you, true to your mission and reach the right people. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, make sure to hug that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next video. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Follow your joy. Bye.